So here we have a random array A that I created earlier. MP.roll is a NumPy function that allows you to shift arrays by as many indices as you desire. So let's jump into this example, np.roll of a comma 1. And there you have the output of that, which is just the same shape array, but this one is now where the 10 used to be. 10 has been shifted over 1, 3 has been shifted over 1, 12 is shifted over to where 14 was, and 14 has been shifted down to where this 11 was. So as you can see, everything has been shifted over to the right one index. Okay, let's see a again. This time let's do np.roll of a comma 2. So now we've shifted everything over by two indices. So this 13 has been 1, 2 up to that spot. The 10 has been shifted over 1, 2 to this spot. 8 has been shifted over 1, 2 to this spot. And so on and so forth. Now because of that parameter 2, everything has been shifted over two times. Now you might be wondering why this is useful. So let's go ahead and show you an application. Suppose you have an array of points and you want to approximate the derivative or in other words the step at each point. np.roll can help you to do that. So what we did here is da is the difference between every single a point. Now make sure to ignore the first term. If we are finding the difference in 25 points then there will only be 24 differences. The first term is the difference between the first and last point. So it's the difference between 10 and 1. And that's not really applicable to this derivative thing that we're doing. So the best way to ignore that is just use your array slicing to cut off the first point. So this negative 7 corresponds to the 10 and 3. So from 10 to 3, we moved negative 7 steps down. The 3 and 8 correspond to this 5. From 3 to 8, we moved 5 steps up, and so on and so forth. So this allows you to see the steps between each point. So there you have it. That is how you can use NumPy's np.roll function in Python. Please be sure to check out some of my other Python videos, and don't forget to hit subscribe.